Welcome to my kitchen. This is Dana Tries It. What's up, everybody? So I just want you guys to know my summer motto is no one likes a shady beach. Remember that one. Get your tan on. Um, okay, so recently I have had a craving for macarons, which are a French sandwich cookie, if you're not uh, familiar with them. Um, oh man, they're so delicious. They're like kind of crispy on the outside. Like if the shell on the outside kind of has this crisp shell you kind of crack into and then it's like chewy. It's very good. And usually there's some special filling in, inside that, um, and then there's a flavor profile. So it might be a strawberry, it might be a chocolate, it might be a combination. So I was having this craving. I was looking around at bakeries and, um, these little cookies are expensive. They're about a dollar each. And they're probably about, I mean, they can come in different sizes and things like that, but I mean, they're about that size. Um, so I was like, oh, do I want to spend that much money? I'll think about it later. Cut fast forward to, um, I was at Aldi and I was so excited. I was in the freezer section and guess what I found? <laughs> Macaron. Macarons. Um, yeah, I was very excited. These are about $4.99, I think, $4.89, something, about $5, which is crazy because there are 12 cookies in here. So I'm going to assume that they're on the smaller side, but we're going to find out. Um, so here are the flavors. There's two of each, raspberry, vanilla, pistachio, salted caramel, lemon, chocolate. So there are six flavors, uh, six different macarons. Gotta say that, you gotta get your lips, macaron. Um, in each and 12 in total. So you definitely could share with a friend if you want. If not, there's 12 macarons in here for you and you alone because you deserve it. So we're gonna try these today. I'm really excited. Um, way less money than I wanted to was going to spend, I mean, if I bought 12 macarons, they would be probably upwards of 12 and more dollars, probably like 15 bucks. So I'm excited I found this. Thank you. Thank you, Aldi. Hopefully these um, are great. So let's go with the flavor profiles first. Um, I think I want to, I want to kind of put them in order of the way that I think I'm going to like them. Um, I think I'm going to like, Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh. That is a cool, if you're having a party too, putting out a couple trays of these, that's not a bad price or making a cake and putting these on. I people love to decorate with these cookies. Um, they are kind of on the smaller side, but I mean, if you're eating two at a time, one, I mean, it's worth it. This is worth it. Um, I haven't even tried them. It's worth it. All right, so I think I'm going to like them in this order. I think I'm going to like raspberry, chocolate. I just love chocolate. Salt. Oh, pistachio. Oh, I love caramel, though. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do salted caramel. Lemon and vanilla. That's going to be my order of how I think I'm going to like these. I'm going to put these aside. I'll share with someone else if I feel like it. All right. Here we go. Aldi macarons. We're trying them. All right. The first one is raspberry. I'm going to take a bite of each and then just let you know. And then kind of pick my favorites and if they're worth it. Cheers. The texture is correct. The taste is great. For the price, the and the jelly. The jelly is a li little gelatinous, like a jelly. These are also in the freezer section, so that could be why. But um, that's really good. I think I might. All right, good. And you can see the crack on the shell. That's a good macaron. All right. Next is chocolate. Hmm. The, 
the inside kind of tastes like a chocolate pudding. That's what I'm getting for that. So, pretty good. The cookie itself is not very chocolatey. It's until you get to the filling, which I think is kind of reminiscent of a, a true macaron, though a lot of people are really like going crazy with the flavors right now. So, um, I'll keep the order. I do think I like the raspberry a little bit more. The chocolate is great. It's just not wowing me chocolate, if that makes sense. All right, next is salted caramel. I need a uh, palate cleanser. It's also fruity, so I don't know if that... All right, salted caramel. It took a huge bite. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Again, the cookie doesn't hit you with a huge flavor at first, but the inside is definitely caramely. It almost has that, that candy corn taste to it. But it tastes like caramel. It tastes like when you get those square caramels, like those ones. That's pretty good, though. You know, I'm going to switch these two. I think I like this had more of a caramel taste than this had a chocolate taste. So I think I'm going to switch those. All right, next is pistachio. Oh, pistachio. Mmm. 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 This is tough. Um, I guess pistachio would have to be after raspberry. I just think this gives you a nice pistachio taste. That's what you're looking for in pistachio. This is caramely, but then it has like that, I don't know, that candy-ish, some other kind of candy in there too. Like it kind of goes back and forth between caramel and that chocolate, like chocolate pudding. Okay. Oh gosh, uh, this one is lemon. I do like lemon stuff. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think I like I think I would almost tie this with pistachio because this does give you a true pistachio taste. I think I would pick pistachio over lemon though. Oh, that's tough. Those two are pretty close. They give you a nice flavor. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to dare to say that. The lemon is very good. The lemon, that's what I want from a cookie um pistachio is nice this was good i knocking it down because of jelly i like it but i wish it was more of a cream um and vanilla mm. because it's vanilla i'm gonna put it at the end i just don't think it offers a lot of flavor um it tastes like vanilla and if i was just eating that by itself delicious but i think that's kind of the last flavor i would go with and that this is a personal opinion so um i think lemon packs in the flavor of lemon and a lemon cookie and packs in the actual flavor what i was expecting more than any of these uh pistachio is exactly what i wanted from pistachio it was nice and creamy not like a fake pistachio but that was very good um raspberry is really good i think i like the cookie better than the filling it is jelly so it is what it is but the cookie itself and the raspberry taste is it's great uh salted caramel was nice i love caramel so it kind of went back and forth for me on that one um maybe the filling just needs to change a little bit and be more like a different kind of caramel i don't know maybe the, the salted caramel i'm i don't maybe take out the salt i don't know uh, chocolate was good, kind of like a chocolate pudding. And then vanilla. Vanilla was very good, but it's just vanilla. So 
That's how I liked them. Are, are these worth it? When you have a craving for macarons? Absolutely. Absolutely. For the price, um, I would have been paying like $6 for all of these. So I think I got them for like three bucks at the end of the day. So maybe 50 cents each. I think that's a steal. I think that's great. They're in the freezer section at Aldi next to the pastries and ice cream and desserts. Um, don't pass up on them. Try them out. Let me know what you think if you do try them out. Um, also, if you like this content, subscribe. Put a like down there too because that also helps with the algorithm of YouTube. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Let me know if you try these macarons. You should. Uh, out of 10, who seven, seven, because this is what I kind of wanted to curb my craving, but I would also, they're not fancy top of the line macarons, but they're, they're what they say they are. They're great. Awesome. Thank you, Aldi. Have a great night. I'll see you guys soon.